Thank you all uh, for welcoming us here. And uh, I must say, when I was watching the Chief Minister give his speech, I wish I'd brought some slides. Uh, because it was so very uh, impressive. And uh, you should know that he is becoming, a, yes, he did a good job, yes? If a picture is worth a thousand words, you will remember much more of what he said than what I am about to say. <laughs> and uh, he is becoming very well known in the United States and very much admired for all of these remarkable achievements. And I thank you. I would like to thank uh, your ambassador. As the minister said, Hyderabad is being known now as Cyberabad. Now, Chief Minister Naigu deserves a lot of credit for giving you the right kind of governance. There are some people who believe, and this city, you see we need a different kind of government. It can be smaller, it can be far less bureaucratic, it should be far more market-oriented, it should be smart, as I learned from <laughs> the minister's chart. But it is a grave mistake to think that we can really go forward together without that kind of smart governance. And the chief minister's role in your success, I think, is evident to all of you by your response. I'm personally intrigued by the fact that you can get a driver's license on the internet and you don't have to go wait in line as you do in America. I have my driver's license here. <laughs> and in a few months, I may come back because it may be the only place I will have a license to drive. So <laughs> I will be just tooling around on the streets here, causing traffic jams. <laughs> in providing the internet to people all over the state, in the smallest, poorest villages. We have to bring government services with printers to every village so people can see in basic ways what it is they need to do to improve the health care of their children. We need printers with computers on the internet. We had a lot of the business people. And I also was treated by the chief minister to a video conference with people in all 23 districts of this state who were working on empowerment projects, who had access to microcredit. I learned something I didn't know before I got here, which is that 20 percent of the people in the world in poor villages who have access to microcredit are in this state, in India. And that's something my wife and I and our administration have worked very hard on. We finance through AID about two million microcredit loans all across the world every year. So I saw all this, and I would say there is one thing that I hope my country will learn from the values expressed in the chief minister's speech, in the local government councils I have visited here, in the local women's communes I have visited here working on all kinds of economic and educational issues, and that is that the two most important things that we can promote in the new world are empowerment of individuals and a sense of community. And if you do one without the other, 